hard juggling cooking and life together. You want time back, but you're wasting it trying to do all the things. Hey y'all, I'm Ashley. I'm the hostess with the mostess who is ringing in the new Southern Bell. I'm your fairy godmother of maximizing your time and creating unforgettable memories. We edit out the mess of the overcomplicated dinner party, creating a sense of freedom in yourself to gather people around the table anchored by really good food. You'll quickly learn that easy and effortless are a thing you can have when entertaining at home. This isn't your grandmother's 1950s luncheon, y'all. I'm a firm believer that the kitchen and the table are the true heart of the home and that life and community are cultivated there. Sharing a meal together is how we can love people really well. So if you're looking to cultivate a community anchored by good food while living your best life, this is the podcast for you. Let's chat about with Sweet Pea Lifestyle. Life over and over that shape your everyday life. When we learn the reason why we should say yes or why we should say no, it makes it so much easier to do just that. Have you ever said yes when you should have said no? For the last 10 years of my life, I have used a goal-setting workbook called Power Sheets from Cultivate What Matters. It helps me determine my goals each year and how to take a look at the year behind me and the year before me and what I want to achieve, where I want to go, etc., It helps me figure out what priorities in my life are the most prevalent. What we choose controls our lives. So are you in control or do you allow quick choices to control you? If you're wondering, um, that's me. I'm the quick answer girl who is dying to say no, but she never wants to disappoint people. So, um, you know, major issues. I can't tell you how many years I put in my power sheets, say no, learn to say no something having to do with learning how to say no. I am the quickest to say yes because I don't want to disappoint anyone. However, last year I was sick of having other people's time determine my own. I was tired of putting other people's life's priorities ahead of mine. I spent some time really pinpointing exactly what my priorities were in that current season because y'all, our life seasons change. We can plan for them to change or they can abruptly change on us. Knowing your life priorities is how you can determine your future gifts to you. So let's get comfy and lean into some questions I want you to ask yourself. Now, y'all, I'm not really qualified to speak on this topic. It's just something that I enjoy talking about. For me, it's a holistic view of entertaining in my home, and when my life allows me to open my door often and welcome people in, I'm going to do that. So if this is something that you're super interested in, I highly recommend Tanya Dalton's North Star course. It is super helpful. The Finding Your North Star course will help you get very cozy with your daily life, what you want, how much time you have left, and how you want to spend it. It sounds like a really um, big fat bummer to think about, but it's this really cool reframing of your mind that happens and um, I highly recommend it. All right, so I want you to get out a piece of paper and ask yourself these three questions. Don't worry, they're listed in the show notes. If you need them, there's also a link to a download to download a a little worksheet for yourself. Question one, what matters most to you? Question two, what does your ideal day look like? Question three, what do you consistently choose? Write these questions down, leave a little room between each one, and then write out your answers and spend some good quality time thinking about this. This might, if you're one of those people who likes to think about things a while and ruminate on it, this might take a couple of days, this might take a few minutes, you know, whatever you want to do. So for this episode, I'm sharing my life priorities with you. Again, I have the luxury of being single, so my priorities will look very different from yours, as they should. This year, my priority is growing Sweet Pea Lifestyle, tending to relationships, and leaning into consistency. In order for me to grow Sweet Pea where I want to this year, I have to consistently prioritize 
office hours and my work routine. So I say no way more than I ever have in the past. And in my mind, I am telling myself, Ashley, you are 35. You get to say no, (laughs) which sounds so stupid, but it's true. So I do say no to in the middle of the day things because I am treating Sweet Pea Lifestyle like the real job that it is. It is my sole income. And so I need to treat it as such. Most people who go to work don't have the luxury of saying, yeah, I'll meet so-and-so for lunch, you know, here on a Wednesday. I mean, technically I do. Occasionally I will go out to lunch with friends now, but I know that that decision to enjoy cultivating those relationships, it is a priority for me this year and in my season However, I also know that I'm exchanging my work time for a different type of time. I'll still have the tasks that I need to be doing on my list, and it's okay to choose other things every now and then. But I can't choose it every day, otherwise I won't be working towards my goal. For the month of January, my priority has been setting myself up for success. If I am going to be faithful in keeping my work hours and a consistent routine, I need to gift future Ashley a few things. Like I've said in the past episodes, Monday is my grocery shopping and ingredient prep day. This means I am gifting future Ashley three to four dinner kits that I can toss on a sheet pan after I have closed up shop. These three to four dinners mean two to three lunches I can eat the following days. Those are little tiny gifts to myself that I am very thankful for in the middle of a busy day. Another future gift I give myself is making my bed every single day. My office is across the hall from my bedroom, and if I see an unmade unmade bed or a laundry basket on my bed, I cannot focus on my work routine. It's just not going to happen. So starting my day with that little productivity makes me even more productive later in the day. I don't have a laundry, I don't have a washer and dryer here in my apartment. And so I will either go to my parents' house or a friend's house. And so that means I'm immediately folding it when I take it out of the dryer. But as soon as I walk in the door, I'll immediately put it away when I get home, gifting myself the peace of mind that I don't have that very mundane task staring me in the face later. I mean... I will say, uh, the past few times I've done laundry, I get home later than I would like to. And so I do just sit it on my floor and I cannot tell you the ugh sound I audibly say when I wake up. And that's the first thing that I see is that laundry bag filled with folded clothes. It just, oh my gosh, it's the worst way to start your day. These all sound quite trivial and like things you should be doing all the time. Yes, correct. But when you reframe your mindset from a chore to a future you gift, the whole game changes. And if you're like me, I love games and those little uh, mind resets and reframings really help in your daily life. Growing up, before we left for any vacation, my mother would have us all fervently cleaning the house and I would get so irritated. It usually meant we left later than we were supposed to leave, and if you know your girl, your girl likes to be on time, Uh, so that never really uh, helped me want to clean things. I just wanted to get where we were going because we were going to be late, but now as as an adult, I cannot leave my home without it being spotless. I can remember her saying, I would ask, like, why are we cleaning? And instead, I mean, I think she would say, you know, I want to come home to a clean house, which is the reason I want my home to be spotless before I leave it anytime. But she would always say, like, what if something happens to us and people have to come into our house? I don't want it to look a mess. (laughs) I think about that a lot now. So let's chat a little more about various future you gifts. When you pick something up and you need to put it away, are you somebody who puts it in a pile and you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to put that away later, but then the pile gets bigger and bigger and you end up having to spend way more time putting that pile away than you did if you just said to yourself, don't put it down, put it away. 
Then you go put that item away where it goes. In future, you will be so thankful there isn't a pile of junk that needs to be put away later. When you're cooking, whether it's tacos, lasagna, pulled pork, or whatever, it is easier to cook once and eat twice. So double the recipe, then freeze it for later. If y'all have seen those super cubes that um, are still all the rage, I think, they were a uh, Shark Tank business. And is that the name of the show? I can't even remember. I think it is. Yeah, it's Shark Tank. Anyways, it was a really cool um, invention that these people made, these silicone um, measure, pre-measured like silicone molds that you can put soup or whatever you want into them. I actually don't have those, but I just freeze things in bags or containers. I like to freeze things in containers. I'm going to bake in eventually. Um, just, you know, making it easier once one less step and one less thing I need in my home. But if you are somebody who has a big family or does freeze things regularly, I highly recommend these super cubes. I think they're really cool. What about picking your outfits for the entire week? I know setting out your clothes the night before is kind of a super helpful and routine thing for a lot of people, but let's take it one step further and line up five outfits for the week in your closet. And if you enjoy wearing jewelry or hair accessories, I've started putting them in a baggie that is attached to my outfit for the week. Uh, Yes, it's overkill, but those next five days, the morning decisions are made and it leaves me with extra brain power to do other things. Anytime I can take away the fatigue of making a decision for my future self, I am so appreciative. Y'all, I know this seems like a super braggy episode, like listen to me, I'm doing all the things right and my life is so much better. (laughs) I'm really trying not to brag whatsoever. I just love sharing helpful ways we can all live a better life. So if something's working for you in your life, I would love to know. Leave a comment on this episode, email info at sweetpealifestyle.com or send me a DM on Insta. The only way we are going to change our lives is by sharing our knowledge with each other. All right, y'all, next week it's February 1st and we're kicking off Snack Food Month. We'll be chatting all about charcuterie and cheese boards, entertaining essentials, unpopular opinions, and how you can build community easier. I am so excited for that month. I love February. I love Valentine's Day, and uh, the Super Bowl is the same, basically the same weekend as Valentine's Day, and it's going to be so much fun. Ready for a free month of the Hey Ashley Membership Collective? Let me tell you how to get it. Go ahead and subscribe, rate and review, leave a comment here on this podcast, then send me a screenshot. The email address is listed in the show notes and I cannot wait to gift you a free month of the Hey Ashley Membership Collective. So excited for y'all. Send me those screenshots.